Welcome to Minecraft Monday. This is a series where we look at projects I'm currently working on on Minecraft and every now and then play on different things that I built. Today I'll be using the Halloween 2015 pack. I found it to be an interesting pack. It's not my favorite. It's not ideal for what I'm working with but for Halloween it definitely does work. give you an idea of my project this is what the world kind of looks like before and as you can see I chose one of the Halloween mashup packs for my character for my current project I'm going to do a lot of reshaping to the landscape over there it's not going to be touched but I figured I'd start off by showing you what the surrounding area kind of looks like And get, got four dogs currently, figured give them a little home. This is currently where my base of operations is located at. Over here is where I stir some cobblestone and this is my automated uh, glass maker. And over here you can see where I flatten the landscape this is kind of stage one I, I kind of jumped a few stages early on uh, if you look over there that little island there is a mushroom biome that I have found and it's got a mushroom on it and over there is a small jungle biome and where you're, where I'm standing right now if you look to your left and the right you can see some dirt pillars those mark the two of the other f three corners of the area that I have to excavate and as you can see at some point I'm gonna have to deal with that mountain that's r right over to our right This area over here we see the uh, dirt filled in was a little lagoon type thing that I but I've got to fill it in because where the uh, cobblestone is is the outskirts of the build site and to give you an idea of the depth of my project you can see it's all the way down to bedrock I like how the, at night how the lights work on the stairs Currently for the going all the way down. I still have the uh, two towers across the way And we're just I got it broken up into two to make it a little bit more manageable digging down We got this area over here cubed off so I can work in more manageable sizes because working on it as a whole is pretty large and as you can see the zombie just drop is pretty cool looking in the Halloween pack and I'm being chased by a ghastly creeper. No, in my builds, I, this is a trick I like to use. I use this a lot on the PS3 version because it allows me to just slide on down not, and I don't have to worry about falling so I just wedge myself between the, the ladder and the column of rocks and there's 
unless I step forward or back, I'm fine. And this is something I plan to use in my in the uh, build that I'm currently working on. And in this little dirt building missing a, a block for some reason. I don't know why, but it's the uh, room for when people come in to help. Once I do open up for help. Not much for sleeping room, but hell, it's not meant to be cozy, it's just meant to get them through the night. And then this massive contraption is my automated stone builder. As you can see, it's more than the glass, it's, it's older than the glass build, but it's also, I'm figuring I'm going to need a lot more stone than I'm going to need for glass. As you can see, I got cobblestone steps, and the map for this is kind of cool. Like you don't have much there on the regular one, but this one's at least got the witch in the background. And as you can see, I've already kind of made an impact on the map. Where I hope at some point this build is gonna be so massive that even when you're off, when I'm off in the distance. It will serve as a beacon because I can just look at the map and there's a massive chunk that's altered so I know that's something I'm familiar with. So even if I get lost I'll have something that I know where to go. And this is about it. Thank you for watching my video. Remember if you like the video please leave a like. I hope to have this be a weekly series where I'll either be doing stuff like this or showing off different projects because after this project they do have an interesting take on how to speed off the uh the uh mine cars without having to use the power rails so once i get this one done that will be the next project and expecting this one to take at least another month or two i understand i could probably get this done faster and creative but what's the point of doing creative if i can do it in survival and use the materials I've got available. Uh, thank you for watching.